everybody, my name is Sarah. Welcome to Kids Following Jesus. So there are a lot of different ways that we can communicate with each other. Can you think of a few? There are many, many ways that people sent or do send messages today. There are homing pigeons, Morse code used in the telegraph, yodeling, smoke signals, messages in bottles, telephones, the mail, faxes, pages, cell phones, text messaging, instant messaging, in-app messaging, Snapchats, Facebook, Instagram, video messaging, you know, YouTube and TikTok. We could talk for a really long time about how we talk to each other, right? But another way that we can communicate is, you know, a face-to-face -face conversation. Now that's a way that the disciples spread God's message. Paul was preaching once to the Thessalonians, and we are going to look in 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13, and we'll see what he had to say there. We never stop thanking God for the way you received his word. You heard it from us, but you didn't accept it as a human word. You accepted it for what it really is. It is God's word. It is, a, it is at work in you who believe. So in the word today, you are the way, in the world today, you are the way that God sends his message of love to others, just like Paul preached to the Thessalonians. Now, we should keep this in mind any time that we are communicate that the way that we behave and the way we speak to others is an example of what God's love is, and we want it to look that way. Now, this... It, God's message, if we pay attention to God's love and we use it in our messages, then that love will change our lives and the lives of those around us that we share it with. Let's take some time and we'll pray together. Dear God, thank you for your love. Help us remember we are your messengers, and we are to spread that love. Amen. Thank you for joining me, and I'll be back next week with more Kids Following Jesus.